Hi guys, um, I'm not really sure exactly how I look right now in the camera because I'm using my mom's digital camera. It's just a Sony CyberShot so it has the screen in the back and I'm looking at the lens obviously. But I just wanted to share with you um, my birthday haul. My birthday was yesterday, it was my 19th birthday and it was my golden birthday because it was on the 19th and so I just thought I'd share with you what I got. Um, so the first store I went to was Henry Bendel. We do have one downtown where I live. So um, I took a look around the store. It's oh, such a cute store. I always find stuff there when I'm in New York. And now that we have the store downtown here, it's perfect. Um, so I do use, I have a college ID, which also doubles as my meal swipe card, how I get into the cafeteria. Also doubles as how I get into the building and you know how I get into shows to show that I'm a Berkeley student. And I had a little driver's license case with a chain that a friend got me when I got my license back my sophomore year and I was using that and then it broke. So I needed to find one and I found a really cute one. This is just a black leather Henry Bendel one. It has a gold chain so when I wear it around my neck it's pretty. It's like a little bit more different and they did have a one that was striped like this. Um, Ugh, my nails look probably gross, but striped like that. But I just thought the black one was simple and I can use this for a very long time. And this was $48. So there's a little pocket here. I'm gonna put my college ID here and then I will probably put my like my driver's license and my um, public transportation cards in here. So I can keep them safe around my neck. Even in the winter, like under my coat, I'll always make sure that my important stuff is kept safe. So that came in this cute little bag. And then the next thing I got was a bracelet. It's one of the newer ones, the girl who was helping me out said. Not calfskin, actually I think it is calfskin. That black kind of fuzzy hair. And then on the reverse side it has the Henry Bendel brown and white um, stripes. I don't know how close I should be getting, but so it has a um, gold clasp here. And then the dangly thing is a skull. And it has the it has jewels and it it's um brown and white like the Henry Bendel typical stuff. So like layered with a watch or something, it'll look really cool. And I love it because I love skulls and I love glamorous things. And uh, the last Henry Bendel bracelet I got two years ago, I wear it all the time. So this was great. And the good thing about these bracelets are they're leather, so. Um, the metal will not turn on your skin. I've had a couple rings and bracelets from Henry Bendel that do turn on my skin um, because my skin's very sensitive and really reacts to certain types of metal, but this won't. The last thing I got was this bag, and this was uh, everything at Henry Bendel I bought myself, except my mom um, actually bought my ID holder for me, which was really nice. But this was $1.98, and this is an awesome bag. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, you probably have seen my black Poor La Victoire purse that I got from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. And it's a black structured bag. It kind of is the shape of the Celine bags. And I was so glad I found a big black bag that I liked. But, oh, such girl problems. I didn't have a brown toned bag or a fall like neutral toned bag. Anyway, this one I found. And um, they have the, it says HB and Henry Bendel and it's a shimmery green. They did have a blue one and they had a shimmery um, kind of beige one but I thought this one looked most glamorous. This one definitely looked the most expensive and classy. Then it has the Henry Bendel little um, metal kind of charm here. Leather straps and it's actually made of the same leather that they make the regular purses out of so it's on the inside. So there's yellow on the inside and then a nice pocket in here for anything you need to keep right near the surface. So there are a couple different ways to wear this. There are two um, leather straps in here that you can buckle together so that you keep your bag closed like if you're on public transportation or just the way you like the way it looks, which I do like that. So it's kind of a nice destructured um, bag for definitely for school. I can carry my stuff around in it and it's a, such a unique color. It's going to look great with my tan coats and um, pretty affordable like if you compare it to coach and things like that um, and it's great quality. So 
I always love the stuff I get from Henry Bendel. And then I went to Nordstrom and I got some clothes. The first thing I got, and I paid for all of these, my mom was nice enough to let me use um, some of her Nordstrom notes, so that was really nice, but the rest I paid for. Um, this is a Maison Scotch um, shirt. It was originally 95, but I got it for 56. It's size three, which is like medium, but I like these kind of shirts big. It's kind of a, a gauzy, thin, um, tie-dye almost looking shirt, and I love the pattern. Um, I hope you guys can see this, but it's flowers and skulls. So I just, I love the combination of super girly and just super gruesome. Um, so it's just a typical college shirt and it has this cool coral, neon coral trim. And what else? Yeah, so I'll probably wear it, you know, it's, it's very loose. I'd wear it with like a tight white tank top underneath it or just clothes with some jeans, with a sweater over it, anything like that. Um, button up shirts and blouses really got me through college last year. They're just the easiest pretty much thing to wear besides a pullover sweater and comfort is like super important when you live in um, a place like Boston where it gets cold and then the weather is random so this is a good layering piece and I love Maison Scotch stuff so the fact that this was on sale was like yes. Um, then I got this Viva Vena shirt. I could not believe that it was $28 because I know some Viva Vena stuff, like the dresses are like almost a hundred, but I love this. It says Viva Cuba, Viva Cuba. It's just a cream colored kind of ivory tank top. I love how gurus always say that. It's a um, cream colored tank top and it says Viva, well, yeah, I can see that. But anyway, I guess I'm just describing it. And then the back is just mesh and that'll work really well with something else I got for my birthday that I'll show you in a moment. But I really like it, and uh, it'll look good with a bandeau because this part covers, you know, your chest, and the rest is is just mesh. So that's really cool, and I love it, and I love like supporting Cuba and take back the power. Not gonna get into that, but then another Latina themed thing I bought was this um, Madison and Berkeley shirt. This is a medium. It was twenty six dollars, and it says Bonita. And it's always good to have comfy stuff like this, especially when you go to college. This underneath a sweater or with jeans and a hoodie or something. I like that it like says something cute on it and um, you know, it's like my Mexican heritage. Then I got this. This is a shirt by, um, let's see, I think it's Truve. Yeah, it was $58. And it is this awesome printed shirt gray toned. It almost looks like butterflies and stained glass, but you can't really decipher what it is. And it's just a normal round neck t-shirt and then the arms have the little peekaboo. And it's oversized and very comfy, very pretty, and I'll be able to wear it a lot. Um, two more things. I got some sweaters. This one is a Leith or Leith or Leith, I don't know. Leith, I guess. Uh, sweater. This was 52. This is a cropped pink sweater. I actually found something pinkish that I really appreciate. And I like the sleeves because they're big and fluffy and then they cinch here so they don't kind of hang over your hands like you're trying to be like this messy hipster. They cleanly cinch at the wrists. So yeah, it's cropped and uh, very cute. Very, 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 very soft. Feels like cashmere. And then the last thing I bought was this Free People sweater in true red. It's a small and it was um, 98. And this is gonna be awesome for fall. It's like a, it's a funnel neck, but you can wear it off the shoulder. You can wear it, you know, off both shoulders, off one shoulder, like all to the front, like a cowl neck. But this is what it looks like. I love it. It's very soft, very stretchy material. It's not gonna be itchy and the color is great, so. I may postpone dyeing my hair lavender just so I can look good in that sweater. <laughs> then at Nordstrom, I went to the jewelry department. They had some things on sale. These I also bought completely by myself. I bought these Vince Camuto earrings. Sadly, I know they're gonna make my ears react, so I can only wear them for a couple hours, but they are so beautiful. I usually don't wear hoops, but I think with big sweaters and like big hair in the fall, they can look so pretty, and um, I think I can, I can work them. But here they are. 
so sparkly a rosy kind of gem color and it's just a big gold hoop so yeah those were 38 and I think they're just so pretty the stone was what got me I think they're so so pretty what else then I got these Givenchy earrings these are on sale for um, from 35 to 23 and these are nickel free so that's good they won't make my ears react here they are yeah I think I'll just probably wear one and then wear my double piercing or something I don't think I'd wear both of them at one time but I definitely think that's gonna look really nice just wearing one and then the last thing I got at Nordstrom was another Givenchy thing on sale and this is uh, this was 70 and it was 56 I bought it for 56 this is also nickel safe okay so it's a layerable necklace you can wear it open like this it has crosses little like tooth shaped bone things with uh, rhinestones on them and it has the Givenchy symbol which I don't know if you can see that but um, I really like that it has that because I just think it's a pretty symbol it reminds me of the makeup and then it has some big studded crosses like that and it's gold as you can see or you can wear it doubled up like this which I did and I wore it as like a very very high choker so it sits right on your neck like a choker and it's just like totally 90s goth meets Givenchy glam I just love it I think with a sweater it's gonna be so classy with a t-shirt it's gonna be killer and just like statement necklaces I've always gotten really good use out of them I don't have many but I get really good use out of it. So that's what I bought yesterday downtown. Something special I also got yesterday was this shirt. No, I'm kidding. This tattoo. This is um, Peter Pan. So I don't know if you can see. I really hope you can. But if not, I will include some pictures. I'm just going to keep moving around so that you can see better. But it's just all black. I took it um, from an outline of Peter Pan, the Disney character. And I can do a whole tattoo experience video if you guys want to see that. But it was a great experience. I went to the place where I got my nose pierced. So it was so clean, so well lit. They fit me in on my birthday. I did, hadn't made an appointment. And my mom actually ended up getting a tattoo as well. Um, they don't match. Hers is very, very significant for her as well. But mine basically, in short, is a dedication to the wonderful childhood that I had and a dedication to my parents who always let me um, foster my inner child and um, they understand that a part of me just never wants to grow up just like Peter Pan so I love it I love it so much and as far as pain if you just you probably want to ask um, apparently the shoulder is a very sensitive area but it was really really a breeze for me um, I, I was just like laughing and talking to the tattoo artist the whole time so um, he did a great job and it took probably seven minutes maybe so yeah and then um, hopefully I can do an experience video and my mom said she would do it with me so she can talk about hers hers is really tiny but you can see that on my Instagram as well which I will link down below or not link just tell you what it is and then today um, because uh, the Nordstrom downtown in my city did not have the new line, the new Chanel makeup line for fall. I was like, okay. So I went today, obviously, and had to check it out because Chanel makeup is like my new obsession, like my new thing I'm going to collect just because it's so good and it just makes you feel fabulous. So the first thing I got was this Rouge Coco Shine. I bought all of this as well. Uh, Hydrating Sheer Lip Shine in 85 Secret. And I have it on right now. You probably cannot tell because it's a secret. No, but um, it's the, probably the most um, inconspicuous color. Oh my God, the packaging. I hope they never change. It's so classic and so pretty and just looks so retro. And here's the color. I know it's in the sun, so I apologize, but it's just a, a warm toned peachy pink, mostly on the peach side, but when you put it on, it really matches my lips. It's just a tad lighter than my lips, so it's kind of a, a really natural nude, and it's pretty shiny and glossy. Then I got um, LeBlanc um, Rosé Primer. It's an SPF 
uh, light revealing brightening makeup base and this is pretty new from Chanel so I needed a primer so the packaging is freaking beautiful but there you go and then the top is white with the Chanel logo so I got that which I'm very excited about I've, I tried all the stuff um, at Nordstrom before I got it I actually have it all on so um, yeah, I do have their really, their most natural and sheer foundation on right now. My skin has been doing okay. So I've been trying to wear really natural, um, light things just so that my skin doesn't get aggravated. I realize the more I use gentle products and don't try to kill all my acne and just attack it, the less it fights back. So, um, I can't wait to do a monthly favorites video for this month because I've really good skincare products to share with you that I can like definitely vouch for for people my age suffering with hormonal acne. It's ugh, awesome stuff. This is a uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua. This is um, their SPF 15 water-based foundation and it is uh, in 30 beige and you can hear ugh. if you shake it it's watery. Um, it's a little square like that Chanel logo on the top and then you just screw it off and you squeeze it out and it's pretty liquidy um, and it looks awesome I think especially layered with um, LeBlanc the rosé primer I think it looks so radiant without looking um, greasy and it doesn't feel greasy on my face it feels moisturizing which I need in the winter and I'm hoping if my skin continues to get better I can just work this naked face and the last thing I bought from the fall collection, so, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, the lip color secret is from the fall collection, and so is this blush. They just came out with cream blushes. I got the lightest shade in 64 Inspiration. And here's the little packaging. It comes in a velvet casing with the Chanel logo. And then, so pretty. I do have a Chanel powder blush, which I love. And this is the color called Inspiration. It's a nice blue toned baby pink, which you would kind of think wouldn't work on my yellow skin, but it looks really nice, like a natural kind of, you stayed out in the sun for a little too long, just pretty, or you've been working out, that kind of glow. And I think in the winter as I get paler, it'll just make me look like a blushing snow white. Yeah, that's basically what I'll be taking to school, a lot of the stuff, and I really hope you guys liked it. If you want to see a review on uh, any of the makeup or anything like that, or a lookbook, anything, just let me know what you guys want. I hope you enjoyed this haul um, from Nordstrom and Henry Bendel, and I hope you guys like my tattoo. <laughs> I know you probably didn't expect it, but hey, I did it. So anyway, um, I will talk to you very soon. I love you. Bye.